Y'all ready to make this moisturizing mask? Yeah, me too. So let's get started. Hey my beautiful YouTube fam, I'm now I'm Nappy and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are doing week two of our eight week Ayurvedic challenge. Now this week is all about the moisture since last week we detoxed our hair. This week is adding some moisture back to it using such herbs as Moringa and Alma powder. Now of course y'all, I'm gonna be using my Moringa and Alma bar. If you guys don't have that, you can also use the Alma fenugreek and neem bar. And if you guys don't have that, I'm gonna give you guys a recipe really quick that you can make on your own. You'll be using half a cup of Moringa powder with two teaspoons of omelet powder, two teaspoons of oil of your choice. Of course, I would recommend my stimulating Ayurvedic oil and then a little bit of deep conditioner. And of course, I'm gonna recommend my oat and aloe deep conditioner. If you guys want a video of that particular recipe, I will attach it here. Feel free to cut that recipe in half if your hair is a lot shorter than mine. But let's go ahead and get started because y'all know Moringa has so many great properties for the hair. Not only does it bring moisture to your hair, but it's rich in vitamin C, zinc, iron, and omega-3s, which are wonderful fatty acids that will help bring moisture and nourishment to your hair strands. So let's go ahead and get started. Now y'all will get a chance to see how I use and melt down my gloss bars. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Y'all, one more thing I wanted to mention is that I actually created a hashtag for this challenge called N-I-A-N Ayurvedic Challenge. Use that hashtag on Instagram whenever you make any posts about our challenge. And then weekly on Sundays, I will pick a name and I'll be sending you guys one of my products. So definitely do that. Definitely join in and let's get to mixing, okay? So we're going to begin with our Moringa Omelette Gloss Bar using a double boiler method. We will drop the gloss bar into the glass measuring cup. Now y'all can do this with any other gloss bars. And as it starts to heat up, we're going to add in some of our tea. Now I brewed half a cup of hibiscus tea and then use the other half with aloe vera juice. Now you could also alternatively scrape the aloe from a plant and use that as well. Now as the mixture heats up, go ahead and stir the bar and assist in helping it melt along with the other liquid until the mixture becomes fully combined. This will take totally about 10 minutes. You might want to add a little bit more of your tea aloe mixture as it starts to melt down and thicken up. You want the consistency of cake batter so that this is not dripping everywhere. And I added about 3 quarters of a cup of the tea and aloe mixture. So now that the bar has completely dissolved, go ahead and take this off the stove. I'm gonna put it into a nice bowl for ease of access while putting it onto my hair. And then I'm going to gently shampoo my hair and get ready to apply. Okay, so I just gently um, shampooed my hair. I just wanted to remove some of the buildup. I didn't really have a lot because last week my hair was so moisturized and I just used um, really just my leave-in conditioner throughout the week. I didn't even use my twist cream. So I didn't have a lot of product on my hair. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from the back and start applying this and talk to you guys a little bit more, okay? Y'all, so even though we are focusing on moisture this week, you know the herbs that I chose are really important for growing your hair long and strong and healthy. Um, I don't know if y'all like me, but when I had a relaxer, I actually never had really long hair. Um, with my fine strands and then adding chemicals to it, it was basically breakage city. Like I always had shoulder length hair. It just never really... Um, I can't say I never really grew past that. I just never really retained as much length. And I really didn't know how to take care of my hair and my scalp. And you know, finding herbs such as Moringa and Alma powder were really important in my hair growth journey, along with some of the other herbs we'll talk about later on in this, in this challenge. But in particular, Moringa powder is rich in vitamins A, zinc and iron and y'all know that i'm iron anemic so this is why i focus a lot on taking moringa internally as well as externally additionally moringa powder has inositol and inositol is found in rice water we know that whole rice water craze um this was a great alternative um for that if you're looking to get that wonderful properties of inositol in your regimen it also contains vitamins b1 b2 b3 b6 biotin all of those things that are important for um, scalp circulation and encouraging hair growth. It's rich in vitamin C. It, this is a really powerful herb and I really wanted to concentrate on 
that but if you're using something else like the omelet powder in it I, I don't want to miss out on some of the benefits of omelet powder now we know omelet powder is rich in vitamin c and amino acids and also rich in iron and collagen which we know are so important for having healthy hair growth um, in some studies it shows that people who have male and female pattern baldness were able to use omelet powder along with salt palmetto to help stimulate hair growth and increase hair density and length so this is another great herb to use in your regimen not only for moisture but also for hair growth now finally y'all i just want to mention about aloe vera we know you can use this as aloe vera powder you can use this the leaf form the juice form it all contains so many nutrients it has over 75 active ingredients in it like all your b vitamins minerals amino acids has antioxidants anti-inflammatory properties you know it provides a moisturizing layer for your hair it helps to soothe the dry and itchy scalp and inflammation overall a wonderful herb to add to any hair regimen okay go ahead and let this steam for about 30 minutes under your steamer if you don't have one use a plastic cap insulate that trap some heat in and let this penetrate into your hair all right so i'll be back in about an hour okay y'all so i just rinsed my hair and my hair feels amazing it's super soft defined and moisturized now i will admit y'all i did sleep in this overnight i fell asleep and y'all i was traveling on sunday so i was exhausted so i just slept with it in my hair so i so i basically left it in for eight hours and y'all my hair feels so soft and conditioned remember y'all there is a conditioning emulsifier in my bars so they deliver a lot of moisture to your strands my hair feels absolutely amazing um i might slightly deep conditioner just really quickly 15 minutes maybe um because my hair already feels amazing but since this is the moisture week i'm going to make sure i get enough moisture in my hair but y'all um these results are amazing i'm excited to hear about your results um don't forget to post your your photos on instagram using the hashtag n-i-a-n ayurvedic challenge i'm so excited to see your guys' hair how you respond to the gloss bars if you use this gloss bar the other one or you made your own let me know down below as well if you guys have any questions as well leave it in the comment section i will see you guys on sunday at 1 30 p.m eastern standard time um, to answer and discuss and pick a winner for this week's challenge so don't forget to subscribe and share with any of your friends who want to join they can still come in and join us i love to have more people join this challenge with us and that's it for this week i'll see y'all next time bye